So today marks seven days or one week since I've had top surgery. And I just wanted to go over some things that have gone on during that last week. I have healed pretty quickly, um, which I was not expecting at all. Um, I was expecting to be in a, lot, in a lot more pain and a lot more discomfort than I was. Um, the most painful part of the whole thing was actually getting my drains removed, believe it or not. Um, I know that most guys don't really talk about drain removal, but my experience, I believe, was a little different. Um, I had a total feeling in my chest. Um, which included the drains. The only part that I can't feel is this part right here on both of my um, incision parts. Um, that's it. And then the rest of my chest I can I can feel. So when I got my drains out, it was pretty painful. He took off all the tape from everywhere and applied new tape. This is new tape that's going to fall off eventually. Um, and that hurt. All of my scars kind of, or scabs rather, um, kind of reopened a little and bled a little bit. But he put Neosporin, which stung, and um, the tape on, and then that was fine. The drain removal, however, was pretty painful. Um, the right side was quicker than the left. I don't know if that's because I was more numb on that side or what, but I felt the stitch being pulled, and then I... I was talking to him and so I wasn't really paying attention to what he was doing so he pulled it out I felt it a little bit but it wasn't that painful the left side for me was the painful part um, I felt the stitch I felt the burn of it being pulled out of me and I felt the pain afterwards so um, if you have full feeling in your chest uh, it's kind of painful medication wise I really didn't have to use anything besides Advil the whole time um, I was prescribed a heavier narcotic, but I didn't take it. Um, partly because I didn't need it, but also because I really don't enjoy being out of my comfort zone. But I really didn't need it, honestly. I wasn't really in a lot of pain. I had minimal swelling right away, and yeah, everything was pretty fine. Um, I wasn't as tired as I thought I was going to be after surgery. I was actually pretty good with the surgery. Um, it took about two hours for me to wake up from it. But besides that, um, I was fine. After I got home, I had a very heavy protein diet. Um, I didn't really make that consciously. It's just kind of what I wanted, to, like what I was given to eat. Um, I made a lot of smoothies um, with protein powder. Um, had a lot of shakes. Had a lot of mashed potatoes, chicken, turkey, fish. Um, some vegetables, and yeah, that was pretty good. I just kept my whole thing wrapped. I only took off the wrap when I went to shower, um, or rather it was a sponge bath, um, and took my pain meds and antibiotics, and I was pretty smooth sailing. And then I just plopped in front of my computer and, um, watched Sister Wives, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, I did go driving, <laughs> Um, yesterday for a little bit. I didn't really move my arms much because I live right by a grocery store. So, um, but I had to go to the grocery store to get more bandages and um, some milk duds and some other candy for myself because I wanted some. Um, so driving was new. Um, it didn't really feel that awkward. It was a little bit more painful on my left side than my right side. My right side is I actually had more range of motion than all the other um you know, places, um, and uh, I don't know why, maybe that's because it's my dominant hand and I use it more or something, I don't know, but that side in general just felt like it was healing better, so, um, so I drove, and um, yeah, it wasn't bad, I've been watching what I've been lifting pretty often, and I've been trying to rest or sit as much as possible, I did give myself my own shot, Yesterday, I did not catch it on tape, but I did give it to myself and it was very painful to begin with because I was tensing and the needle was like this in my leg or in my in my butt. So it was like this, but I 
So I passed that landmark, thank God. So now I don't have to worry about it for two weeks, and it doesn't actually hurt now because I actually got it in the muscle. So maybe I'll just tense up all the time. I feel good about that. I was actually a week late because I did not have it before my surgery because I was just not wanting to be in pain and I didn't want to worry about it. So so that's about a week in review. Um, I right today I um last night was kind of a bit rough sleeping, but that was actually probably due because my ace wrap kept on falling off and was too tight and. Yeah, but, so, other than that, um, I'm feeling good, I'm recovering well, and, um, yeah, everything seems to be good. So, here is my chest, um, today. It's still a little bit, you know, bruised, but not actually bad. Most of the bruising slash iodine is right down here, but it actually doesn't feel like it anyway. So, anyway, yeah, that's, that's a week, and so, uh, Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.